Hi, good morning. So today I want to discuss about uh, a module, topic 2.3, freeform motion. This one is on page 34. So you can refer to your module. Today I have sent you the videos, so I hope you can understand. So today we're going to discuss about the module. Let's look at the notes first. Some important facts that you need to understand. So what is for free fall motion? An object experiences a free fall motion only if it falls due to gravitational force only. If this happens when the object falls without encountering any air resistance or other forces. Meaning just caused by gravity pull only. There's no air resistance. Number three, gravitational potent gravitational acceleration, small g is acceleration of an object when falls due to gravitational force. Meaning all object that experience free fall. That's experience free fall. The, the acceleration of the object, we call it acceleration due to gravity or gravitational acceleration G. Number four, the average value of gravitational force, gravitational acceleration, please make correction, isn't it? Gravitational acceleration on Earth is 9.81 meter second negative 2. Okay, number 5. Any object that free falls on Earth does not be affected by the mass or size of the object. Meaning, an uh, object with different masses, once experience free fall, they will experience same acceleration due to gravity g equals to 9.81 meter second negative 2 meaning uh, mass does not affect acceleration due to gravity number six okay this one if you can see we have mentioned earlier for free fall motion all object will experience same acceleration due to gravity equals 9.81 meter second negative 2 so meaning the motion is under type of motion that we call constant acceleration so when it is constant acceleration meaning all the linear equations uh, there are four linear equations that one can be used for motion under influence of gravity on the or free fall Example, so we have formula S equals UT plus half a T squared. Object fall down, for example, so U equals to zero. The acceleration A equals to G. So you just substitute A with G to so get S equals half G T squared. So, T equals square root of 2S over G. Okay, number 7. Linear equation can be used for problem solving by replacing A with G. Meaning, you can use the 4 equation. Depends on the uh, situation given. So, you just substitute A with G. Okay. Value of G is positive and object is moving downwards and negative where it is moving upwards. So actually this one can be used. What we discuss in our textbook is that value of G is always negative. Okay. Value of G is always negative because moving up negative object decelerate. The value of uh, the velocity decreases. So meaning the value of G is negative and thrown out. Fall down is against the direction. So it's also negative. Okay, but finally we get the same answer. Okay, now we look at this one. Okay. 
Okay, so you can complete the definition eh, for the free fall. Falling under the force of gravity only, or fall due to gravity only. Air resistant, negligible. So you have a graph here. A graph of V against T. The gradient equivalent to acceleration due to gravity, G. So meaning we can determine G from the graph of V against T. Linear equation can be used to solve the problem. So there are four equations eh, all together, same as what we discussed under 2.1. So you can use all the four equations to solve the problems. So the factor that affect uh, sorry. So free fall time does not depend on mass and also size. Eh? Okay. And then the time for free fall is affected by height and value of G only. Okay. From here. The time for free fall, eh? T, you can base on this uh, equation. This equation. So meaning the value of T just depends on S or height and also G. Okay. Problem solving. So you can take the final answer for number one is 2.67 second. Okay, number two, forty five point eight seven meter. Number three, okay, but A, yeah? deceleration, B, move against gravity, C, B, you get ten point two eight meter second negative one. Yeah, anyway, it's about gravity. So some of you haven't done the experiment eh, involving gravity. So that one is a compulsory activity. Eh? Some of you have done. So meaning when the school reopens, the rest of you who haven't done the experiment must do the experiment. Okay, that's all.